I do want to go back to Martha Raddatz, if we could, because Martha, as we're just watching all of this play out, all we can really do is go back through history and see sort of how um, the U.S. and Israel and Iran have responded to conflicts in the past. And we know that not long ago, a few years ago, it was the United States that took out a, a key Iranian commander, and that came with an Iranian response. How does that compare to what we're seeing now? It, it sure did prompt a response with, and it prompted a response from Iran to go after U.S. troops in Iraq. Uh, a hundred, at least a hundred, were injured, injured with uh, traumatic brain injury, some of it very, very minor. Uh, but still, they launched missiles and rockets towards a U.S. base. This was after the drone strike on Qasem Soleimani in January of 2020. The uh, Iranian major general, uh, who was head of the Quds Force, a revered figure in Iran. I was there just days after he was taken out by a U.S. drone in Iraq in a targeted drone strike on Soleimani. The U.S. said they're an attack was imminent, something he was planning. It's never really been revealed exactly what he was planning, but some sort of attack, uh, according to U.S. officials who I have spoken to. Now, the response from Iran on that and that attack in, uh, in Iraq, I think, was probably tamped down because in those days, and I happened to be there in Tehran when this happened, that... that the Iranians accidentally shot down a commercial airliner, if you if you remember, and it was shortly after uh, missiles were launched. But then they accidentally shot down that commercial aircraft, and I think they tamped down any further action after that. But they have issued fatwas against all of the people, including uh, General Mark Milley, uh, including Donald Trump. Anyone who was involved with that drone strike on Soleimani, they say they are after those people. So it, that does remain. And that's the kind of response uh, that Iran will likely have if Israel, if, if Israel strikes back, which they will, uh, no matter what happens tonight, you will see a retaliation, according to the U.S. officials I have been talking to. You will absolutely see some sort of retaliation. But then what does Iran do? And you go back and forth and back and forth. And that's why this is so serious uh, tonight, what is happening, what the response will be, what the counter response will be. And again, just to remind our viewers who may just be turning in, Iran had been vowing uh, for days uh, to retaliate for Israel's deadly strike on the Iranian consulate in Syria. That was on April 1st, uh, 12 days ago. That killed 13 people, including several top Iranian military leaders. And, and Martha, if I could come back to you, because a lot of the intelligence, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the intelligence that we've been hearing from both Israeli and U.S. sources in recent weeks was that Iran didn't want a wider regional conflict and that Iran preferred to operate, you know, sort of standing behind their proxies in, 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 in Lebanon and in other places like Yemen. Um, so did something change tonight? Is this a signal that something's changed? You know what? The answer to that is I think we don't know exactly. And we certainly didn't know it was going to be this big, particularly with the U.S. wanting them not to escalate. Please, please don't escalate. Uh, we understand there'll be some sort of response. Uh, surely they knew also that Israel would do everything possible to try to shoot down those drones and missiles. So they certainly knew that 500 missiles and drones weren't going to hit target. And according to the U.S. official I talked to, they are targeting military facilities. So maybe that's how they see this as not a huge escalation. But by any definition, this is an escalation. And you know what? I, I am thinking tonight there was how the people of Iran are feeling about this and about what is happening. After the death of Soleimani, I was in crowds of more than 100,000 people in the streets who were, it, it was death to America. It was death to Israel. You're going to hear a lot of that on the street soon, too. Yeah, and the people of Iran also know that Israel is likely to respond, too, and they will be bracing for that. Martha Raddatz, thank you so much.